Yard, yeah, through to the semis. I gotta say, the US kit looks real good on you right now. Thank you. I feel like I look good in red. <laughs> <laughs> How's everything feeling? Second in the heat, looking very cruisy that last time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I felt really good kind of going in. I thought I definitely could have probably ran that like a little better, kind of keeping in a little bit. But I feel like as long as I feel relaxed and get the big cue, like running a few extra meters is just too, too bad. Like, we'll see what Jason says. But um, yeah, I was really, really good. And I'm coming off that race and just ready to tackle the next one. So. Did you watch the other races beforehand? Or now that their time clock is on factor, does even matter? I watched the second one because that was the only one that we were like kind of in the thing for. Luckily, it was Mario's, and saw so he came away with the stressful race. But uh, yeah, that was the only one I saw. But yeah, like I said, it wouldn't really matter either way. Even if I had missed it, I would just been like, I wonder if Mario made it versus like I had to run a certain time. But yeah. <laughs> what does 253 and 1200 feel like? No, we just ran. <laughs> um, pretty good, I guess. I mean, I kind of came to that bell lap, and I was like, I got a decent decent bit left if I need to really like let loose, which I did on the last 100 meters to like, kind of feel everyone on me. So um, yeah, I felt pretty good today. Are you comfortable running in that big of Yeah, yeah. I think um, as long as I'm not like boxed it on lane one, which I usually try to avoid in general, um, and I have space to kind of move out and go, then I have no problems with giant crowds. If anything, I like more people because I think it's more energy and kind of drives you a lot more. <laughs> Does it feel different taking on Yanko like this at the championship knowing there's not going to be pacemakers in there? Not that much different. I mean, I'm sure that race will go out fast by someone. <laughs> and I'm sure we'll close really hard. So um, I think it's like any other race, except now I feel like I'm at my peak and got to leave it all out there and you know see what I can do. So maybe three rounds makes it a little different. But other than that, no. <laughs> Most people coming into a world championship like this are kind of rookies, they haven't been on the big stage. You've won a Diamond League, like you're a medal contender. Like, what's it like coming in with those expectations? It's really fun. I mean, you know, I don't, I've never been really one for expectations. I don't know what I mean. But <laughs> I, just, I just feel like, you know, it's not, it's not too big of a deal when, you know, this is just like any other race except I really want to do well here and it's just everything that we've kind of built up to. I think that's the only real expectation for it. And, you know, if I go out there and have fun, then I don't care. I'm sure everyone will be behind me either way. So. What's a successful World Champs to you? Um, I think it's just having fun. Yeah, I honestly, I could come away with freaking first or like fourth, but if I like, I don't know, had a terrible time winning for some reason, then I feel like that'd be a little less fulfilling than if I had like a great time, a great race, and just like really enjoyed myself getting like fourth or something. So have fun. I want to do that. <laughs> you said you like you look good in red. Somebody sent me the shirts they made for you back home. Yeah, I saw them. What, what do you think of those? <laughs> oh, I love it. Honestly, I think I need more more stuff like that. <laughs> more more really silly merch. I think that that's my vibe. And hopefully, I'll be able to catch them once they tell me where they are. Probably win the final. <laughs> so can we call you the goose now? Can that be your name? The goose? Yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's just, people only call me the goose when I'm racing, you know, so I kind of just like, if I'm racing, it's cool. Otherwise, I just yard. I don't know. <laughs> so how many people came over here to cheer you on? So right now, it's my parents, my brother's sister and cousin, and then a few of my friends who live in Europe and their parents, friends from high school. Uh, I don't know if they're here yet, but they will be soon, so yeah. Did you get to wear the singlet when you were in Tokyo, or is this your first time wearing it? Um, I, mean, I put it on, I guess. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't like running it, obviously, but um, also I got like extra smalls that time, and it was terrible, so the, the person I was trying out was just like, you need an extra small, you're so slim, and I was like, this feels like a speed suit, what am I wearing? But, this is better, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did it feel like a long wait to get this opportunity again from two years ago? Yeah, yeah, I feel like it's been a long while. <laughs> um, but, you know, I still feel really excited to have this opportunity again and to actually be taking it this time and, you know, hopefully making all my friends, family, and country proud. So. Ali had to make a tough decision to pass on being here. You were in a very similar boat, obviously, before Tokyo. Were you able to lend him any advice on that experience? And and it's obviously was the right decision for you given your success. Yeah, yeah, I think definitely like kind of sticking with the fact that it is the right decision and not letting what anyone else says or tell you kind of like influence that. Um, I'm sure a lot of people said a lot of things when I did that. Not that I read it, but I, read, I never really cared if I even if I had because I think it's just very. Oh, it's the mascot. I want to hug him later. Um, <laughs> but I think I think it's just very, um, you know just realizing that all your 
friends and family really support your decision and they know it's the right one and eventually it'll come to a time where you look back and you're like, yeah, I made the right one, so like I am right now. What's the biggest thing you've learned racing on the Diamond League circuit this year? Uh, I think just being comfortable with a lot faster races. Um, I mean, this race wasn't it's still kind of fast, not like crazy, but like, you know, I think in those races that I kept running over and over, like 329, 330, and like 333, it's all just very, you know, it feels a really daunting at first, and like you're kind of hanging on, but I think now I'm kind of at a point where I can feel, still feel really in control by I run those fast paces, and that's been really important, and also just, you know, tactics in general, which I feel like I've improved on. <laughs> I've heard that sodium bicarbonate is becoming quite popular among 1500 runners. Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried it and what are your thoughts on it? I did try it. Um, I'm not a fan. <laughs> I think my body just... I'm very low maintenance and I think my body is kind of the same. And so when I tried to do that, it was kind of like, oh, what is this? And my whole body felt weird and I was just like, mm, I either did this wrong or this is not for me. It's kind of similar with caffeine. Like I don't do caffeine because I'm just like... I don't like it, so, yeah. you know, maybe if I start plateauing, I'll try it again, but, you know, for now, I'm all right. <laughs> and was it before practice, or when did you try it? Just, like, a couple practices. We had, like, hard workouts, and then we'd you know, be like, oh, you know, give it a try. This will help you, yada, yada, and I try it, and the workouts, we always go fine, but I just feel weird the whole time, and I just don't want to come to a race feeling weird, so, you know, but it's helped a lot of other people, I'm sure. <laughs> all right. Thank you for your time, Yard.